Alright, what's up guys? It's Gregory here and I'll be make as promised I made a walkthrough of this world. So let me just show you around. Alright, so first off, uh, here is the meteorite which uh, is here and the snake is right over there. It looks pretty okay, I think. Might wanna comment on how you think it looks. This is the Nolani Academy. It's a little arena, middle level arena. Now there's this bridge over here. I'm like walking in reverse now though. If we just normally we'll, we come in here. There are a few classes right here which are not really balanced, just to give you an example. There's a lever over here which controls this bridge. As you see. And then as as we head back this thing here. I also like cleaned up this a little bit. It's not like, too good. Alright, next up is this little parkour I made. I was like there were like cool balls around here, but you can't really get on them in survival, so I thought it would be cool to do that. So we start right here, which I'll um just I'll just do the parkour for you and you can see how it looks alright pretty fail Alright, that was. I'm not. I'm. I really suck at Barker, so. Just saying. Yeah, my sprint button sometimes gets stuck, so I often don't make jumps. Yeah, as you see, this is a very difficult jump, so I'll just fly in this one. Alright, now we jump, just jump right in that bit, which is not too easy. Alright, I a little bit failed, but it's okay. Now, uh, there are pressure plates right here, which will lit up these redstone lights. So as we walk on, more and more redstone lamps will get lit until you hit these torches. Now these caves will end up right, right behind the bridge. So when you come up here, you actually like come out on the academy, which I just show you. Alright, so here's the exit, we just press on the pressure plate, and there we go, we're out. Now that's for the parkour, I'll just show you around a little. I also, if you might see, extended these walls, which took quite some time, because these walls are like, took ages to make. Alright, next up is this shrine, I think. It looks pretty, uh, well, it, look, it doesn't look too good, but it's useful. Like, like when you're damaged, you like stand on here and it will shoot healing potions right at you so you will heal now the redstone this thing is pretty big and cropped so I'll just show you right now there we go this is like old redstone I'll just destroy these 
Um, see this right on top here is the pressure plate, so it activates this and blah 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 blah. All right, so let's go up again. Right here. All right, next up is this uh, dragon. I think it's pretty huge, actually. It's actually like amazing. Uh, well, uh, it's not much to show you on the dragon. Next up is this village right here with a little pathway. It's quite natural. It's a little bit crop village, but it's. I think it does work pretty good out. It has a little farm. Uh, it it might gonna get uh, a trade. They're like pistons right here. Um, Yes, or this is a station right here. Alright, so let's just continue right here. Alright, next up is this. Yeah, well, you've already seen this arch, so I don't have to review this one. Uh, well, next up is this volcano right here, and a little housey. This is also my spawn point in my world. Which is pretty cool, because when you like it, go inside, it's like a little cottage. It's a good, very good spawn point. Alright, um, uh, next up is, I think, this biggest volcano and best looking volcano as well in my world, which is right this one. It looks pretty cool how the lava, like, spits out, but it's kind of weird why it doesn't why actually the lava doesn't fall it's weird but it's okay it looks better this way now if my world just wants to render a little bit more this is a little like a city thingy which I was working on but it's nowhere near finished so you can see it's a it's a little bit like lion's arch but uh, this is nowhere near as good and finished. The harbor looks good though. I really think these look good. Too bad it's a little bit buggy when you like uh, post uh, these fences. Uh, right to the bottom you get this strange looking thing right here. But it's something you it's a small price to pay. Alright, next up is my uh, nether portal, I think, I, yeah, I think so, I just hit her. If I can just find it. Yeah, alright, here is our nether world. Uh, yeah, this is our nether world, and um, yeah, um, there hasn't changed a lot in here, but I only thing I added here is a portal. And the portal should be right behind this volcano. Right there, here it is. This is the portal. Looks a little bit weird because of the actual nether thingies are attached to the obsidian, but it's okay. It's okay. All right, uh, you have seen this bridge before. It's nothing too special. Alright, I think I forgot to mention this Chinese dragon, which is like all inside a mountain. It's a little fountain. It looks pretty good, I think. Turned out really good.
And then there's this strongholdish tower right here. Which looks pretty okay. It's look it's a little bit weird because like the down half is covered with these vines. But that's okay. It doesn't look too bad. Alright guys, so uh this is my walkthrough of my newest version of my world. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, see you later.